So. Ooh. Okay, this one's curious to me. Why Michael Jackson's bad? It's a great album, but I, I would never in a million years categorize it as my personal favorite. So why why for you? All right, I know the common question is Thriller. I get that. Oh, I get that. Yeah. Okay. Thriller with standing. Guess what Thriller doesn't have? Yeah. Songs of dirty topics. So right there, uh, Dirty Diana and Leave Me Alone are a lot more interesting to me than a lot of stuff. Lyric, lyric wise, I felt that that album was more explorative, and he does a lot more. Um, I can't think of what it's like, autobiographical things. Then um, okay, so you feel like it's more about himself than less about things people want to hear. Yes. Hmm. So I mean, I'm Kanye does that all the time. Is that are you going to draw that parallel or not? Uh, no, I really just want to com I compare it just to Thriller and uh, Dangerous. It's really, that's it. Was this the last album that Quincy Jones worked on? I don't know if he worked on Dangerous, but don't, I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to be quoted on that. <laughs> oh, I know. I mean, I've got the wiki page up here that he worked on. He was a producer for Bad. He was a producer for Bad? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, but I thought that album was written... Do you feel like the devi I'm sorry. Do you feel like the deviation in style with perhaps Michael Jackson being a little louder, which is eventually what drove him off working with him? Yeah, I do. Um, do you think if you compare the singles, they are although they all are very uh, great on both albums. They there's a distinguishable amount of polish that is on. Um, the the songs on bad that isn't on thriller and by uh, like for example the building chorus the the pre-chorus on smooth criminal right. and how it builds and goes into the chorus i don't there's not really anything that occurs in that song and a, a tribute to thriller a lot of those single songs are loops and they continuously loop a lot of the songs on bad i feel are constructed better um where the key changes are placed. Are we gonna say are we gonna say better or maybe that they're just more new things being introduced? I don't think it, I don't think I can say it's new because I am looking back at it. Like if I grew up on an experience one after another. No, it, new is in within each song there's more new ideas being introduced. That's yeah. not it's not about the perfect groove and just killing it. New ideas but new good ideas and, and but you're still creating hooks with those things. Absolutely. Um Um I I, I just felt that that album was uh, the librarian uh Speed Demon and uh, Streetwalker. I thought those songs. Yeah, that that album should be talked about more. Those are all. I thought it was track. bad. Um, I I thought that bad has a key. A lot of songs have key changes in the middle of it. Like there's a lot of, a lot more going on. The way you make me feel and, and like they're just. See how they had all those funky music videos, right? Um, like, I don't like acid trips with like animation shit over. That's like, leave me alone. That one has like I, I um, I thought I thought still is there. I still think "Leave Me Alone" is probably in that era his most honest song. When he that's like not about some unfeasible thing. He's telling these people, "Leave me alone," and that no one was accustomed. Uh, even yeah, on Michael hearing that from stars. Yeah, and even then, that was prior to the songs he did off the history stuff, to, and yeah. prior to Black and White, where he wasn't getting political. This is just him addressing like the rumors and what people say about them and you know just like get out of my business like leave you know leave your words to yourself and just you know let me just be here to do my thing and no other pop song was ever at that time uh, was really doing that as to stuff because you can say marvin's game was going on is, is speaking about um what's going on around you but it's not saying specifically about him yeah. this guy is saying like addressing his audience to leave me the actual performer michael jackson alone that was a big statement. Yeah, I thought that was a bit, uh, a really big statement considering how big he was back in that era. In the late 80s, it was huge. That was, that and that was only MTV, so imagine if he was getting overwhelmed with MTV only and, and cameras and no social networking. Imagine how massive it would have been. Yeah. I thought that album was the, also the last time we saw, you know, classic Michael Jackson, too. And that's, that's probably why it, hold, I hold, it holds a special card to me because I, I thought Black and White... 
well, all, well, although it was it's listenable, and that's I'm, I'm not trying to disrespect that album. It's listenable, but I felt it borrowed heavily, heavily, too much on '90s um, uh, conceptual themes in music, and I didn't like how it doesn't age. It did not age as well. No, I mean the song "Black or White" is cool. A uh, jam is cool. Uh, the song "Dangerous" is cool off that album, but I felt like I'll, I remember the time. It sounds dated always, no matter what when you hear it. <laughs> um, I just felt that those songs didn't age. I, I feel bad. If you're a songwriter, I think that album is better to listen to. And that's saying I, I can't pick one or the other. Bad, bad is better album to listen to yeah. for the songwriter. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, I feel if for groove, if you play like in a funk groove I band like only, I really like more to arranging. Like if you want to study like how all these instruments are working and interweaving with each other to create different sounds. Yeah, because like you want to be starting something as a groove that's a seven, a seven like, the same groove for seven minutes. Like, I forget which track I was listening to, but there's like four different claps going on at different times that create different grooves. Like one was an actual clap. Little was a drum, little was an electronic drum. I think for arrangement, human nature and probably like PYT are the only two that really fit into that. I think the other ones are really like based on grooves, which is not bad. If you guys haven't heard the Michael Jackson cover of Human Nature, you should. The Michael Jackson cover of Human Nature? He did, he invented smooth jazz with that. <laughs> yeah, Thriller. I, I, I like Thriller more. <laughs> I mean, I like Bad more than Thriller. But that's like you know, I have to, that's a hard thing. Seems but like, it seems like a it. lot of your a lot of your argument is opinionated. Is there anything less disputable that really cements that as the better album? Let's say you were debating with somebody. You want to debate something? Every song was actually the, every song was a single. That's fair. And charted. But maybe that was just because he was so popular at the time. Um, Thriller didn't do that. So yeah, if we're if, if it's a fight, a springboard off of Thriller to make that. Album. Oh, but that, there's a springboard behind the album behind app before Thriller. If, um, was a, uh, off the wall. Off the wall. Oh, springboard off the wall. Mm-hmm. What's your point? It could. Each and one then had more singles and, than the one before. It. No, because uh, dangerous didn't have more singles than bad. I know because that was his peak. Popularity. Well, okay, so the peak album of popular popular was bad. So. Okay, so I guess we could debate that it was the best album. <laughs> All right, that then. standpoint. Are you happy? With him is not. I'm not saying that. That's not how I feel about Metallica or Kanye. With Michael Jackson is my favorite. I'm not. It's, I'm not gonna say it's the best. That's. No, absolutely. It's definitely between Thriller and Bad that you can even off the wall people could argue that because he did usher in a complete sound that could find R and B and disco and it was acceptable. Yeah. And that was part of it. Any takeaway thoughts? Um, people should listen a lot more to Bad. Speed Beaver. Because <laughs> that sounds great. If you could say one thing to the late king who pop, what would you have told him? I'd probably break down too. How did you, I, do you have any? Do you have any footage of you doing your ad libs? Video footage. I just don't want to see what that looks like. It probably looks different than like when Mark Bucket did that look. <laughs> the ding, bow, 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 ding, bow, 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 bow. I want to see him just going in the studio. The last day of I'm going ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Like just seeing that shit. <laughs> good guys. And then it's we good guys. We good. We good. We good. We good. We good. Okay. okay. One more. Okay. Ding. ding. <laughs> like, I just want to see that so bad. That's actually a great answer. I think we're good. <laughs> ding. 